Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel for another tarot pick a card reading. In today's reading we're diving into who will you marry? Who is your future spouse? So I thought this would be like a fun little prediction reading to do. So I'm going to go through all these cards and stuff like that. I also have a pendulum to help us know if this is someone you already know or not. Um, and just other little tricks up my sleeve to help us get an accurate message. So that being said, though, if you're ready to dive into this and get yourself into receptive mode, do so right now. If you need to know how to put yourself into a receptive mode, um, check out my video link down below as always on how to pick a card using your intuition. But once you're there, we have our groups, group one, group two, and group three. Timestamps are provided below as always. I'll see you at your time. Hey, group one, let's get started with your tarot pick a card reading all about who will you marry? Who is your future spouse? So first and foremost, before I even get into your cards, I'm going to use this pendulum to determine if this is someone you currently know or not. So then this will make this part of the reading a lot more easier to understand if it's like I said, someone you know or not. Um, and yeah, we'll just dive into all that stuff. And if we do know who they are, I do have this thing over here, which can help us figure out um, any kind of connections that they might have to people already in your life to help narrow it down as well. So that being said though, stay tuned all the way through for the reading to get messages at the end as well. But let's dive in. So for pile number one, is this someone that they know or not? All right, so that is a yes, it looks like. So that being said, let's put these cards out and then we will pull from that little box over there to figure out more of how you might know them. But these are the characteristics that they have. So on the outside, they come off as the king, enlightened benevolent leadership, benefiting those in your charge, excessive feelings of entitlement, rulership without restraint. And then how they actually are on the inside, we have shapeshifters, skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness, ability to see the potential in everything, projecting any image that serves your personal agenda in the moment. And as for how you meet them, we have the eight of wands here, as well as the lovers. And then the overall energy for your connection is the rose, beautiful. So let's pull from here and see how you may know them or through who you might know them. All right, so we have third party. That's really interesting for how you might know them. So that kind of gives me acquaintance vibes, like a friend of a friend or like someone that's like in your circle, but like not in the inner part of it. So that's kind of the vibe. It, like I said, a friend of a friend is that energy too. Um, or maybe it, this could also be like a friend or someone who knew um, somebody that you have already been in a connection with. <laughs> so those are just some things to consider. But with the eight of wands here and the lovers as how you guys have met, I feel like you guys, it happens really quickly. And I feel like, like what I was saying, maybe there's like acquaintances or just like common people or scenarios and stuff that you guys end up in together, scenarios, environments, situations, that sort of thing. Um, cause the lovers is Gemini energy that has a lot to do with your immediate environment. And the eight of wands gives me this impression of like, I mean, it's quick movement. So it's almost like this person like sees you and is like, oh my God, hey, like they just jump out to like give you some kind of energy no matter where you're at. It's giving the vibe of maybe this is somebody who you see them out in public a lot or something like that. And they, you know, I feel like with the king energy here, they're really well known. Like a lot of people know them and respect them. Um, It does give me the vibe though that this person that you're going to marry is a very like, spiritual person like they go on a lot of inner journeys um and maybe that's why they like randomly felt called to connect with you i feel like um this also this rose always makes me think of like the beauty and the beast story so there's something here where maybe this person feels like they have to act quickly with you um or else somebody else is gonna like sweep you off their feet or like they're not going to like fulfill their desires i also wanted to say their duties here so maybe this is someone who really does kind of look for someone that is their perfect counterpart and you really you struck a chord right away um third party this i could also say that this might be like you're already in a relationship looking at this like you could have already been in a relationship and this person 
poked at you and was like, I'm interested in something like that. And maybe you didn't, I mean, obviously for different people, it's going to change, but it's like something about this person was kind of like, they came in when they weren't supposed to, I want to say like they came in at a time where you wouldn't have expected somebody to come in and surprise you with a deep kind of connection. This is very spiritual energy. So I almost feel like this person saw you, but saw more than just face value. They saw everything about you in the first glance, almost. It's like the, really that love at first sight thing, but it might've been more of a feeling, I feel like. With the shapeshifter here, I feel like this person can kind of go from seeing things at really face level and bring it down back, or bring it down or up, I should say, to a more uh, spiritual kind of thing or like intuitive or primal, like something that's really driven from their like heart space or like soul. Like, that's how they come in contact with you. So something like this, like, this could have been somebody that saw you, like, at a party or online or, like, you guys had mutuals or something like that. And they felt super drawn to your energy. And almost immediately, like, they needed to offer you something. And it's funny because this person is seen as a king. So in their life, I feel like they, you know, oftentimes aren't the one to be offering things to other people. If anything, other people offer to them. But with the way that you guys start out your relationship, it's like this person couldn't even help themselves. Like they saw that there was other people coming for you and you know, they they took the opportunity because they're like, well, everybody wants this person. Like you're a hot commodity. You're somebody really popular in their eyes. So they were like, I need, I need them basically. That's like what I was saying with the beauty and the beast energy here. It's like, I almost need them to feel better about myself. This does kind of give a trophy wife vibe. I'm not going to lie or trophy husband, like somebody that you're like kind of using to like level up your own self-worth. So that's interesting. Let's see more of the storyline though for this relationship here. I do feel like the overall energy being this um, rose though, is that there is a lot of things about this relationship that like it's beautiful but there's danger to it i feel like both of these cards kind of give danger like the thorns on the rose you know even if it's beautiful it's like you have to be careful how you touch it and maybe that's the truth for this person too um i do feel like they kind of are all around especially with a shapeshifter being their real energy like I feel like this person navigates a lot of different things that maybe people don't really understand or see. And maybe that's why you guys are drawn to each other because there is that spiritual deep connection. But that same part of them keeps them really protective from other people. So that's why I was saying like they're held in really high respect from other people. Um, like this is, I don't know, this is somebody that I would also say like doesn't, they don't play around with people that much or if they do like it's very covert like I don't, something about this it makes me think of like a king like if he were to have like you know a mistress or something like that like there's something about like a certain kind of status where like unless you are their queen you're not being shown off to this person but for whatever reason I feel like this person recognizes you as their queen and that's what starts everything off is they're like wait a second this is my counterpart this is someone who is meant to be in my life um and it like i said it does give that love at first sight kind of vibe to it now i do feel like this person might run away from those feelings a little bit at times with the shapeshifter here um and king like there's something here about like i said the status and position so this could be someone that really doesn't want to like seem like they're tripping or like they have a lot of energy invested into you but i feel like just the fact that, like I said, they are even willing to get off their high horse and to come and be a part of your life or to offer themselves to you at all, like, that says a lot for this person. Like, they don't do that. They don't do that, I want to say. So, let's see a little bit more of this love story, though. All right, we have the emperor. Exactly. Like, this person is very self-satisfied in life they have a good position in a good structure already working for them this gives me the vibe also of somebody that maybe has a good family name like they're well known by um the community because of their family or something like that but it gives me the vol the bah, it gives me the idea that they can switch roles with a shapeshifter here i feel like no matter how secure and stable they might seem on the outside like there's part of them that does have kind of an inquisitive soul that is looking to see more of what this is i feel like and that's what we kind of see here with this statue thing in the background it's like you're a piece of fine art to this person i feel like and no matter how satisfied they are already it, there's like an insatiable part of them that was woken up because of you that also gives this vibe to me too of like 
I need this. I need this. Like there's a need here that I feel like you have really fulfilled for this person that nobody else has fulfilled before. We have the five, the four of swords. So I kind of feel like this need it has to do with this inner world that they have because shapeshifter four of swords like that, it gives this impression that this person has felt like they had to kind of limit their ability to communicate or share or express themselves in order to kind of maintain their status like this gives me the vibe of somebody that's like trying to come on to them and he's like no 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 like we can't do that sort of thing so I feel like this person has actually been wanted by a lot of people and has rejected a lot of people but for whatever reason they can't stop themselves with you I feel like they almost like feel this overwhelming like I said insatiable desire to be with you and to be connected to your energy I feel like we have the eight of wands here again. Wow. So <laughs> this person can't help but play into the competitive parts of what your life is. I feel like there is a lot of people that like you that want to be with you. Yeah, we have the nine of swords here too. So I feel like they almost get wrapped up in their head about it. I think this person is someone that acts though. You know, they're not the kind of person I think to just stay in their head about this sort of thing. I feel like if they are feeling like kind of challenged at all like there might be some kind of competition to get you I feel like that's where they change on the inside to become you know more regal or to control a situation in a way that you know maybe suppresses that part of themselves that is worried like there's something here about this person having a really good amount of self-control where even if they're worried about other people snatching you up I feel like they're going to know how to tame that part of themselves for whatever reason that's coming through pretty strongly here um, maybe because like I said, they can't stop themselves when it comes to you. I can't help but notice this black cat here. So it makes me feel like this person sees you as very magical and someone they can't really wrap their head around, which I think is really nice for them, honestly, as a shapeshifter, because it's a skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness, ability to see the potential and everything. Like, I feel like you kind of help that part of themselves. You nurture that part of themselves that can see things in different perspectives, um, which is really nice, I think, for this person. And I feel like they want to marry you, honestly, because of the ways that maybe you know how to give them a break to navigate things and to understand. Like, there's something here about allowing certain kind of space to understand things for yourself that this person really likes. But there's still always this kind of passion and enthusiasm that allows, you know, the, the relationship to maintain, I want to say. Which, I say that, and we have the four of uh, pentacles here. So, I feel like they see a lot of staying power in you, your future spouse like they're the kind of person that knows that I, I don't know I'm seeing them admire you a lot is if they're more of the masculine energy or more, you're more of the feminine energy or vice versa like whoever it is like the feminine energy is being heavily admired in like in kind of an irresistible way and I feel like that's what's happening here is this person even if they are like the strongest person where nobody can pers like push them any other way like you have showed them that you have almost equal power, not almost equal power, that you do have equal power, that you are like kind of their teammate in a way. Cause I feel like this person felt like they were almost like better than other people. And that could explain this third party energy of like, why would you get in entwined into something like that? You know, it's something about this person that almost likes to compete. Um, but it almost feels like not a lot of other people kind of like meet them on that level. Whereas I feel like they see you as someone that can kind of engage with them in a way that helps them you know not it's almost like like I don't know how to explain it I want to say like they want to compete but at the same time they don't want to feel like they're losing ever so that's the thing is like maybe you part of this relationship is you guys like having a really strong connection together so you can freely kind of navigate other people and stuff like that like may I don't know may it's kind of giving a little bit more of an open relationship vibe not a hundred percent or anything like that but it's just like something here about like there's a staying power within this relationship that lets you guys kind of go whatever way you need to go and do what you need to do yeah we have the ace of chalices here so I feel like that's what I'm saying like this we have this staying power energy or this kind of confusion and being wrapped up in each other that turns into some kind of like new opportunity on an emotional level so I feel like you guys heal each other a lot on an emotional level and have a lot of similarities on emotional levels too like maybe you guys have both been through a lot of things or both are really guarded or just hold yourself to a certain regality that like a lot of other people can't navigate um or maybe you know a lot of people I feel like it's stunted by this person like they see this person as being all that in a bag of chips or 
you know, somebody that has really harsh authority as well. So it might be something where like a lot of people don't even try. They don't even try to get in or if they do, they're really unsuccessful. But you have been successful in this person's eyes at like awakening this part of them that, you know, can work like as a team basically can work with other people to feel happiness and stuff which I think makes this person nervous honestly like like I said they really don't like to come off of their high horse or anything but you have allowed that and I feel like that is what really forms this special connection of like why you guys get married because it's like th this person wouldn't have done this for anybody else they wouldn't have gotten off their high horse for anybody else you really struck some kind of chord in them so let's see some positive themes come out for this relationship. What are some positive themes that come out for this relationship? That's interesting. We have intruders, which says a house or home can represent your ego or inner world. So intruders or burglars usually indicate a deep transformation that is taking place or needed. Exactly. Okay. Intruder. That is such a funny way to put this because that's what I'm saying. Like this person is so used to being perceived in a certain light like a certain regality a certain esteem like like i was saying this gives the energy of somebody who has like a family name that puts them in a certain position a certain like yeah a certain power basically and it's almost like you came in completely unexpected into their life and just made them realize this deep transformation that needed to happen or whatnot like and that's what the shapeshifter is here i feel like this person kept that shapeshifter part of themselves quiet the part that could go inward and really navigate different levels of consciousness i feel like they didn't share that with other people but then all of a sudden it's like this gives me the vibe of somebody that was like meditating and then all of a sudden like you popped in oh my god this makes me think of spongebob <laughs> when he goes into other people's dreams and they're like what are you doing here like that's kind of the, that's what we're seeing here is it's like this person is a really deep spiritual person that a lot of people don't get access to and all of a sudden you just walked in the door like a door that had eight bolts like you you know you just you didn't seem to be bothered by all of these protective measures that this person had and you walked right in and you had complete access i feel like to the inner world of this person and that just shook them to their core it made them realize the specialness of you i feel like all right so now we have cheating on a partner here and then we also have technology so part of me thinks that this relationship especially with third party here like you already knew this person and like i said maybe they were poking at you when you were already in a relationship maybe i mean i'm not judging but maybe this is somebody that you cheated on a partner with at one time um maybe you guys just talked online or something like that but something here is like you guys did something in the dark with this person to bring them to the conclusion that this is where they need to be and i feel like there's something like i said a little bit dangerous about the connection um something that really brought up a lot of feelings of you know it's a i want to say feelings of rejection because this is very like aquarian energy here um it's just there's something here i feel like about like this person has been like i said off on their own for so long and that Maybe they have been the third party in a lot of situations because they just didn't see themselves really committing. This also gives me a pretty unorthodox vibe. So I feel like that's probably part of the relationship and why, like I said, it might have started in like a third party situation or something like that. Um, it's it's and this also gives me a vibe too of like secretly meeting up and stuff like this. So like there's something here and like it doesn't have to be as full blown is like you're cheating on somebody and that's how you meet your future husband you know what I mean but like there's something here I mean that could possibly be it so you know take it take it as it resonates um but there is something here about like there already being someone else in the picture but there's just this really strong pull that you can't get out like you can't shake I feel like this person has really touched you and you've touched them and that's like how things start and that's honestly how things always seems to go i feel like with this cheating energy i'm going to clarify it really quick yeah we have the high priestess so there's something here i feel like this person for a long time was cheating themselves out of a good time out of a full relationship because they like to maintain some kind of control or like i was saying some kind of secrecy like they like to keep themselves hidden and where they feel safe and like if they have to factor themselves out of the equation in certain ways they will so i feel like that is kind of how this person has operated they cheated themselves out of a positive kind of connection but 
there's something here about how this relationship unfolds that they can't stop themselves. They have to go forward with it and they have to kind of see where it can take them. Yeah, we have the Hierophant here. So it's like they want to build something here. Um, and it was just, it was really unexpected, I want to say. Some of the positive things coming out being that cheating energy, it's like almost seeing this like wild desire within you have a purpose like maybe that's part of the thing here is like that's the grander scheme of things is like realizing that just because you want something you know like in society we shame each other for that and each other we shame we can shame other people for that i should say like when they want something and it doesn't like fit social norm like something about this is giving a really unorthodox relationship um like i said maybe something that starts in the dark <laughs> because it's not supposed to be a thing but it still builds i feel like so that's really interesting see some shadows in this relationship Oop, keep throwing cards behind the desk okay so we have fire and we have castle i want to okay i was thinking this is coming in hot so something about this and again this is giving the same kind of imagery of like something already established was destroyed because of this and i again this is giving a certain vibe so like take it how it resonates for you like if this is not your pile it's not your pile but like something here about like you've already had something established and it gets burned basically so that could be something here too is like this relationship i mean it brings up a lot of things that you might need to get rid of a lot of pre structured things and maybe this does have to do with status or something like that like i do feel like there's a lot of passion here that really pushes things in different directions and it's almost like hard at times for you guys to really build in this relationship because every time you're building something you're almost burning something you're destroying something at the same time and it's I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing honestly I feel like you guys have a lot of passion it's just a matter of like really like putting it in a specific place so I do feel like though that's not going to be that much of a problem we do have the seven of swords here though so I feel like um at times th there can be just kind of a lot of arguing and fighting about what you're building and where to go with that and stuff but I mean that's kind of the only negatives that I'm really seeing here you know I feel like this person has a lot of preferences when it comes to you and sees yourself or and sees you as a good outlet or somebody that they can be more unconventional with too so let me pull you guys some more messages here though and out this reading a little bit about your future spouse who you will marry about this connection let's get some more insights so we have journey so exactly i feel like there's something where like this doesn't start out the way that it's going to finish <laughs> we have soulmate exactly like this person recognizes you as somebody that like there's a journey to take to get to that like connection that they want and it's something that i feel like they're worth doing like i don't feel like this it's funny because i said it's a quick connection but i feel like this might be a slow burn into a gas tank thing yeah that's like totally this energy here maybe that's part of the problem is that you guys restrain and hold back and hold this regality for so long and all of a sudden things internally switch up and like it's like somebody turned the fire up all the way like that's kind of what i'm getting here for this relationship a lot of the time but soulmate i mean i think you guys are perfect counterparts in a lot of ways like you'll feel really kindred and like this is a connection that's meant to last and like it's meant to go some places yeah we have opening up so it's it's almost like it's opening you up to a, another side of yourself that you know um you might have been neglecting or like not giving as much value or credit like i feel like this person does give you credit and it's funny because we have the ship here and then we have another boat here so there's something here about you guys coming together and i think gaining more clarity on each other which helps which helps open up this relationship more this pathway more in this how you guys um want to build things we have honesty and we have loss we have positive on the back of the deck so i do feel like this person um you know with opening up in honesty i do feel like it's been a journey for them to accept what is right for them what calls for them and what not and like what doesn't i should say because we have the loss here so there's something about them almost being worried about losing out on things um or losing like that power status and control or something like that but they also have to be honest with themselves about where they're going you know because that's the thing is like if you're in this really self-satisfied energy where nobody ever meets your needs when you get this call to action it's going to be there's going to be some resistance you know it's going to feel like you're losing yourself but because you're taking a journey to meet 
another part of yourself, you know, in another person and opening up to a more honest, raw type of, you know, vision of self. Yeah, we have resistance over here and we also have heart wall. So it's like running into a wall of like resistance because you, you're you afraid to share your heart with somebody. So maybe that will be part of the, you know, theme in this relationship is kind of some resistance around that and a loss of, you know, their own personal um, containment like that's the thing this person really likes to contain themselves hence why we see the the castle and then it goes to the flames it's like lo losing your container basically so last but not least though I'm gonna pull some messages cards to see what your future spouse would say to you so let's see you have unbridled passion of course we knew that Oop. we have I want to commit fantasies social status restart you drive me crazy you make me crazy if i knew i would tell you wow okay so those are all really self-explanatory for what i've already kind of said here you know the social status thing about how they have a certain regality if i knew i would tell you this is like them being like if i knew you were my soulmate if i knew that this had potential like I would tell you and that's the thing is like they, I feel like all of this is so strong that they want 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 but they it's like it's I said want 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 almost so it's like it's um they're like seeing it through a negative lens of like is this even possible like can I do this sort of thing you really I mean clearly you make them insane like just full of power full of passion full of a lot of things um with restart here i feel like they kind of want to have a more honest open connection because like i said maybe things started off really fast really hot and you did have to kind of keep like a more low-key secretive vibe about it um which might have kept things confusing i feel like something about this person like they have so much passion that's been suppressed for a minute in this relationship that they almost want to like restart and have um an opportunity to share what it is that they like feel basically it's like they're gaining some kind of impatience um here which is funny it's like their energy knows that they're meant to be with you but if they you know it's them that doesn't really like fully consciously grasp it just yet so that's really interesting honestly but that being said group one i hope this message resonated for you guys and if it did make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel for more intuitively channeled messages like this if you want to book a personal reading with me make sure you link or make sure you check out the link down below to my snip feed as always or you can instagram dm me um email me whatever works best for you i'll be around but otherwise i'm gonna skedaddle and i hope to see you guys in a later reading peace hey group two let's get started with your tarot pick a card reading all about your future spouse who will you marry so fun little reading we got going on but first and foremost before i even get into these cards about them and your situation um i'm going to use this pendulum to ask if this is somebody you already know or not so that being said, if you do already know them, I have this little box over here, which we can pick to figure out more of your associations, like how you do already know them. Um, but if not, you know, we'll just dive more in, in other ways. But that being said, does group two as a person, or I should say, does group two already know the person that they're going to marry? All right, so that is a no for you guys. So this is someone you have yet to meet. So keep that in mind, um, but let's dive in with what we got. So for your cards, the energy that they come off into the world around them is mediator, which has gift for negotiating fairness strategy in personal and professional life, respect for both sides of an argument. And then shadow attribute is negotiating with an ulterior motive or hidden agenda, either per personally or professionally. And then their inner world is coming off as the angel, helping those in need with no expectation of return, acting innocent or angelic to mislead others, falsely claiming to be in touch with angelic guidance. And then it, the way that you guys met is seen in these tarot cards, which is the Six of Pentacles. And the world. And then the overall energy for your guys' connection is seen by the safe the money is safe so all right so right away the vibe that I'm getting here is that this might be someone that you meet through work or through some kind of uh 
public, <laughs> I want to say public exchange. So this could be like you going out to a bar or something like that. And you know, you're you're around people, you're sharing energy, sharing drinks, whatever, something like that. Because the world is like a, a structure, some kind of establishment. Um, so this does kind of give the vibe of, like I said, work, uh, going to like a club or something like that, or just somewhere like it's, it's a public setting, somewhere that has a lot of people, um, like a public establishment though. And then the six of pentacles, I mean, this kind of gives a vibe of maybe you are the one providing the service. Like maybe you're the waitress at the restaurant or maybe you're like, the person offering some kind of service um this i mean she's handing out presents here too so this gives me the vibe of like however you guys meet it is something through like almost a surprise exchange so maybe this is like meeting someone in public and you guys like swap numbers or something like that or meeting someone at like a party and you decide to i don't know like offer them something like this makes me think of like you have a dog, you brought your dog to the party, and you're like, oh my god, you want to, like, meet my dog or something like that? Like, I don't know why that came up, but, like, that's, that's something here of, like, them kind of offering you something that's a little cheeky, that you're like, oh, okay, like, <laughs> maybe this is, like, more than what it feels like, because this is kind of professional energy that I'm getting. This person's a sweetheart, though. I mean, a mediator, an angel, like, they, inside and out, have a lot of integrity when it comes to helping other people, and so definitely with Six of Pentacles, I mean, that makes sense of why that's how you guys would meet is it's almost like this person is known for being a helpful person to other people a fair person to other people someone you can rely on i want to say especially with the safe here i feel like a lot of what your relationship is is building wealth building value building stability anything really where you guys are working together to create something that is you know working for you i feel like like this is a very like power couple pile like it makes me feel like you guys meet through a common goal or interest <sighs> this could also be like on social media too i guess with the world here like maybe this is something that you guys have um like mutual interests in it and stuff like that like this is giving me the vibe maybe there's someone like two people in real estate or something like that like i don't know there's there's something here though there's like a commonality of like goals you guys have similar goals and maybe a lot of that is a tangible kind of goal monetary um or just like certain investments that you guys want to make like that's some sort of basis of this relationship and it's interesting though because i feel like this person really will take your lead in the relationship like whatever you say they're really going to try to work around and try to accommodate for which is a really nice thing actually i feel like a lot of people don't realize how strong that is for like an act of I mean, that is an act of service in a way, like to actually really consider other people and like want to work with that. I mean, that's what it feels like this person really like stems from. Like they really like acts of service. That's why you might meet them through acts of service or something like that. So let's get some more information though on this relationship, this little love story that we have with your future spouse and who you will marry. All right, we have the king of chalices. I feel like this person will really help you out. Like, I feel like maybe you have had a lot of people in your life that weren't stable emotionally and they actually needed a lot of that from you. Whereas this person might be the only person in your life that actually comforts you in a way that feels like helpful and like they're not asking you for something in return. I feel like that could be a big problem already in your life is that you feel like you're constantly giving to other people and not getting anything in return which might be an issue in this person's life too, I want to say. Like, maybe that's why you guys are attracted to each other is because you both serve a lot and it's like, it's kind of destiny to like find somebody that like has that same value system, I want to say. Whoop. All right, so we have the Empress. I feel like this person is going to cherish you a lot like they're really like i said going to work on value with you so that being said if that's a highlighted point in the relationship it's almost like they're going to build your value um and you know that's the thing here is this is someone that's really protective someone that really cares a lot about you being safe as well as just everyone like this is a family man that is very protective so man or woman like this person really cares a lot about the protection of the people that they love and i feel like we see here with like this woman kind of right here and then it goes to the empress it's almost like they're helping you level up and see your value and your worth and what 
and I want to say how to guard that too. I feel like this person kind of sees you as a really angelic being you know it's funny i'm kind of seeing you as like the opposite like where you come off is really angelic um but in the inside you're really trying to balance the scales and trying to make harmony in the world around you and this person almost gives you more of a platform to do that i want to say they like kind of allow you to have more room to grow and expand and um use your passions for good i want to say yeah we have the ten of wands here so i feel like you guys you know, it's interesting because look at how intertwined they are. But this is, like I said, very heavy, passionate energy. So I feel like because you guys hold a lot of the same spiritual desires, it's like you guys can like freely combine them and create something that's beautiful. You know, look at all this like greenery around them. It's very vital, fertile energy. So I feel like you guys actually will focus on creating a lot of things. And a lot of that I do feel like will be money. I do feel like monetarily this will be a very comfortable relationship. Um, and that's, you know, it's funny is it's almost like this person kind of treats a lot of relationships more tra transactionally, you know, and that's kind of the vibe here that I'm getting. Um, interesting. So we have the strength here, really passionate energy. Then we have temperance and then we have the chariot. So very very passionate energy but i feel like they channel it really well and i feel like this relationship will handle that energy really well i'm kind of giving the vibe like maybe you or this person are both kind of floating without a real course of action until you came together and it helps you guys learn how to tame those impulses and gain more of a expansive lifestyle one that's a little bit more balanced in the give and take as well um I feel like a big thing in this relationship is learning how to work not only with your head, but with your heart too. And that's the thing is I feel like a lot of this person in their lifetime was working with their head in like social expectations. Like, you know, this gives me the vibe of maybe like the son or daughter of somebody who really did a lot to please their parents to try to, you know, be the protector in their family. Like this, maybe it's like the oldest sibling or something like that, or like the sibling that just got a, the big, like, a big brunt of the work basically is that the word i don't know but it's like they just they took the heaviest part of the load i want to say in their family when it came to having to stabilize things so that being said it's like you guys do that for each other you guys kind of have that commonality where it's like needing to tame this strength of passion or desire of impulse and channel it so you're actually building something stronger yeah we have the seven of pentacles here too so i feel like this will be a really work oriented relationship, but work in the sense of like, we're trying to build something together. We're trying to do something that is, you know, I want to say monumental, but also stable. Like there's something here about being really bold and like people look at you and they're like, wow, that's crazy. But like also, you know, knowing that there's something to offer from that boldness i want to say like this isn't like i said this is a power couple but like power couples aren't just like good looking people or like you know happy people or helpful people like it's all of that kind of thing and you're using that to your advantage so i feel like that's kind of what this this is this relationship ends up being is you guys learning how to tame impulses together to start building things with other people in a way that satisfies you. I was kind of noticing how it says negotiating with an ulterior motive or hidden agenda, either personally or professionally. So maybe this person does try to use other people to get what they want in life. And that doesn't mean negative all of a sudden like that, or that doesn't have to be a negative connotation. I want to say, cause all of us, you know, at some point we do need other people to get things that we want. This person just has more of a like Librian quality or like a Pisces quality where you might just decide that like, assistance from other people might be helpful or might be what actually builds success because if you think about it if you build an empire and it's all on your own and nobody else to perceive it um did you even build an empire <laughs> it's like is that is it even known for what it's known for kind of thing like and that's kind of what i'm seeing here is like <laughs> oh my god the imagery i make it makes me think of uh lord farquaad where he's like am I a king or like, am I the best king or whatever? And he's like, well, technically you're not king because you don't have a girly kind of thing. So that's the, like the vibe I feel like this person has gotten from a while. And that's why maybe their ulterior motives of like being how they are kind of a more Casanova like person, but not in a negative way. Like I do feel like this person just has like a loving heart, like one that really values relationships or romance and stuff like that. Like 
but it's just about, you know, I feel like finding the right person to elevate with and that that's been kind of this person's thing. So let's see what is the um, positive things coming out in this relationship, though. Some more positives in this relationship. All right, so we have children. So you might very well have children with this person, or you might find that your childlike energy is activated a lot more. Um, like there's more freeness. And like I said, like you can almost explore your options a little bit more, but with a way where you're sort of channeling that channel childlike energy. And we also have money. So exactly like you guys are creating a lot here, money, children, happiness love like there's something here about you guys are really good counterparts when it comes to putting things together and exploring like the potential of those and nurturing the potential of those i do feel like this relationship you guys are going to create a lot of things though and that's kind of where the money energy came in you know you guys collaborating on a lot of things that you'll both find to be very sacred energies things that you both really admire for I think what they bring into your life, especially on a spiritual level. Like, I feel like there's something here about this person's inner world that is really focused on romance, beauty, you know, the, the more soft feminine things in life, I want to say. And this is something here where they, it's like in this relationship, they almost feel like that abundance is available to them in a way that they might have never felt out alone. So let's see some negatives that might come out in this relationship. It's just we're not rose color glassing this whole thing. We have family. Interesting. And then we have social media. So there could be some issues with family and with social media. Perhaps this person did come from a family that wasn't the most like I said, like they were the stable leg in their family. So thus, I feel like they try a lot to keep up with appearances with social media here. I feel like this person's kind of detached from their family. And that's what's kind of difficult maybe at times is like they're only focused on this building aspect of the relationship and maybe not like healing certain family things. Let me clarify that really quick, actually, with the tarot card. We have the Knight of Pentacles and Three of Wands. I feel like because this person hasn't seen relationships will pan out in the way that they, you know, would feel safe with, um, this person might overthink and might I feel like assume the worst sometimes about where things are going. And I think that's probably because of things that have happened with their family. It just kind of makes them a little bit antsy. And I don't know. I feel like they almost would watch, watch you with this awareness of like what you could be doing. There is something here about this person kind of getting in their head about where, where things could go, what could be happening, that sort of thing. So and that's something to consider, I feel like, because as of somebody that is working to build a lot of abundance and collaborate with other people, um, like I did say, I do kind of notice that this person has a tendency to keep their cards hidden, um, you know, and only share certain things and stuff like that. And it's out of protection mainly, but like there's something here too, I feel like where this person might overprotect and might overdo things and try to gain kind of a control of what is given what is given and what's taken in this relationship um that might not be like the best route to take i feel like they've been modeled a relationship that kind of showed them how to act almost prematurely to situations now like they're it's like a protective measure that they might act a certain way um so this does give me kind of the vibe of somebody that might like look at your social media and have fears that actually do reflect like issues in their family life that's just like a random side note i guess but interesting so Let's pull some more messages, though, about this relationship. I do want to say it does feel like this person doesn't like to share you that much. <laughs> um, that might be a part of it, too, is like maybe that is something that they fear is like a fear of abandonment because of their family or something like that. But anyways, we have magic. 
I feel like there's a spark that you light up in this person where they feel like they can see not only their inner magic, but they can see yours. Yeah, we have solutions. So maybe that's it's like a magical solution to them, this relationship. It does seem like, wow, you're you're kind of my missing piece, I wanna say. We have complicated. We have limbo. We have round and round. So we have beginning. Okay, so I do feel like this person, you might have to have a few interactions with them before it actually starts to click to this person that you are kind of who you say you are, how you present yourself. Because I feel like this person does kind of hide some of their magic, thinking that that is a solution to things. But in reality, I feel like you know, it's kind of made them numb to connections and realize it, it numb and like detached where they like give certain energies to things and to people. And it's just kind of like, here you go, here's your solution. And it's kind of without understanding how much magic that has. But I feel like this situation is more complicated. They start to realize that there is something more here that they haven't really like fully understood or come to terms with. Oop, hello, move my camera. Complica it's funny because it goes complicated limbo and round and round so it's something we hear maybe you guys don't you don't build right away like there's something here about maybe there is this kind of like can I trust you vibe that happens for a minute and I feel like that like I said does happen to be about their family or them trying to control this inner impulse um let me clarify that a little bit more here let's see let's get out some astro cards actually what is this complicated limbo round and round energy we're seeing sixth house okay north node okay it's really in this person's destiny to clear out this complicated energy when it comes to relationships i feel like they have gone through some situations in their past where they had to it's like save face or something like that and tried to present themselves in a more refined way um even though there's a lot more to this person so it's like you kind of bring things up bring it back to them where they realize they haven't fully integrated parts of themselves that they need to and it's not not something i think that totally pushes this person away but at times i do feel like it does put them in this state of like confusion or something like that where they can't exactly feel like they can trust the situation yeah we have an inner child so it's like almost like they are being brought to the attention of the inner child within them that is like kind of asking for more magic and more bliss in their life more almost protection really like magical kind of protection or spiritual protection like and they don't really understand that that's what they're they're trying to draw into their life through this sort of change up that they might be um presented because the six energy is kind of strong here where it's like, you know, I mean, six is Venetian energy. So it's something here is also like finally receiving what you, what your inner child wanted to receive. And it's magical. It feels like the solution, but then there's this complicated part of you that doesn't feel like it's time for you to accept that. Um, like there's still more for you to do. Like this is kind of giving me a productivity wound a little bit where it's like the kid that you know, because they were always trying to stabilize the family, they never feel like things are stable enough or like they're good enough. So, I mean, these can be kind of issues that you might see in your relationship, um, but it does feel like this person still holds a, like a special spot for you. They see you as someone that is worthy of coming back around to and safe enough to come back around to. So, but for um, extra messages from this person, we have, I have a hard time forgetting and forgiving. So there's something here, like I was saying, like there's old wounds that come up for this person that they might hold on to their more childish inner child stance um, in those moments. But yeah, we have impatient as well. Yeah, I don't know. Can I trust you? Mean. I can't stop myself. Unworthy. I talk about you and you make me see life differently. So we see some shadow energies coming up here. Um, I do feel like this person does kind of hide this worried part of the, themselves that does feel unworthy. Um, and I feel like their inner world can be kind of mean sometimes because we have that angel energy here and the shadow is acting innocent or angelic to mislead others falsely claiming to be in touch with angelic guidance. It's almost like they try to seem a lot nicer than what they might actually be. And it's like on the outside they do that, but on the inside there's like this person that's like nagging them I feel like um it, it's funny with the impatience here mean it's almost like this person is like has an inner 
parent or somebody that's like get a clue get get it together like I said get stable and this person just really feels like they can't do that at times and that's where maybe they're like I can I trust you like and that's the I can't stop myself to you either it's like they it's almost like they have to trust you and that's where they're being triggered is like they don't know if they can they have a hard time forgetting and forgiving but they see that you are someone that helps them see life differently and I feel like they actually um you know when I talk about you like they quite literally might like acknowledge that to other people say that to other people like this person is actually helping me deal with things that are really hard that I've kind of not like wanted to look at um you know that's where the unworthy comes in yeah we have I want this but I don't know if it will work so I feel like this person can be really like in their head at times and feel really doubtful about what they're investing and you know that's really like Taurus Scorpio second house eighth house access like you know, when you're investing in something, it's very natural to have this feeling of worry and loss. And I feel like this person will have that at time to time um, where they, you know, wonder if this is something that is going to sustain them and stuff like that. So then they might kind of get anxious and in their head and stuff when, um, you know, when things go wrong. But I feel like overall, this connection is pretty positive in being able to work out the complexities that you guys have. Like, I feel like there's a lot here where you guys are able to look into the root of things and what really, you know, is stemming this energy. Because something here is very selfless. It's like almost waiting for somebody to tell you that it's okay for you to do something or be something. And I feel like that's kind of what this person has been waiting for. And you kind of come in and show them like, it's okay for you to be like this. It's okay for you to kind of ask for more from life too um, without expecting that you have to give everything that you've got in your bucket sort of thing. Like you're, it's almost like you're teaching this person more individuality or more like, I don't know, like a more concrete place to stand when you are exchanging with others, like something like that. So wow. And <laughs> group two, I hope this message resonated for you guys. And if it did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel for more intuitively channeled messages like this. If you want to book a personal reading, make sure you check out the link below to my Instagram snip feed, or you can email me, whatever works best. Otherwise, I'm going to skedaddle and I hope to see you guys in a later reading. Hey group three, let's get started with your tarot pick a card reading today all about who is your future spouse? Who will you marry? So before we even dive into these cards, I'm actually going to ask my pendulum um, if you already know this person or not. So that way we can kind of narrow this down. And then if you do know them, we will also ask um, how you know them, like through who and whatnot, um, some kind of connections just to help clarify but if not we'll just dive more in um to what they're like so that being said though let's dive in so does pile three know their future spouse currently all right so that is a yes it looks like so let's see how you know your future spouse currently how does Pile 3 know their current spouse? It is a link connection. There we go. So we have sister. So if you have a sister, it could be someone that your sister also knows or someone through your sister, something like that. Um, this also gives me the vibe of if you don't have a sister, they could be someone that acts like a sister. Um... So if that doesn't resonate, though, you don't have to take it. Just a thought, though, um, to help guide this through. But, yeah, let's dive in with your cards. So the energy that they are presenting in to the outside world and whatnot is servant. So delight in serving others with a free and loving heart, using the lack of money as an excuse to not move forward with life. And then their inner world is coming up as the destroyer, releasing what is potentially destructive, preparing for new life, toxication with destructive power, destroying others' dreams and potentials. And then how you guys would have met. We have the four of pentacles. And we have the strength. And then the overall energy for this relationship is the lilies. So... All right, so right away with how you guys could have met or how things kind of start in this relationship with the Four of Pentacles and Strength here, I feel like both of you guys are very contained. I feel like something about this started off from people that were really not 
searching to give to this relationship, but it just kind of happened. I feel like it's like bumping into somebody or slowly like starting to work with them. I feel like this is energy. I mean, this is energy where you're not really wanting to give stuff up. You might be kind of stingy. You might be holding on tight or trying to invest in something. And the strength card here is almost like saying that investment can be like used for something. So maybe this person has put a lot of marbles <laughs> into the bag and then they're like offering you that bag. So I mean, that can be taken a lot of ways, I guess, because this is more of an energy thing rather than like a specific place or something like that. So maybe this is someone that you have just kind of, you've seen collecting their marbles. You've seen them gather their bearings. You've seen them kind of get gain their strength over time. And then all of a sudden it becomes this opportunity of like, all right, let's, let's do something with this. Especially with servant here. I feel like this person kind of just works with their head down a lot of the time and does what they're supposed to. Um... It's supposed to. So maybe there's something here about this person being kind of compliant or just really like they just try to work with people. I feel like they're pretty cooperative. So it, that's what's funny here is that the way that you guys kind of came together was like maybe recognizing that the way that they're cooperating, like they're like, you know what, actually, this is a lot more empowered than what I thought it was. Like, this is kind of like you recognizing a diamond in a rough or something like that. And that's how this starts or vice versa. Like somebody is able to recognize somebody for the power that they have. And instead of like, I don't know, being afraid of it, they're kind of like, wow, I want to invest in this power. Like, I want to see more of what this person can do. With the lilies here, it's, like, really good intentions. I feel like this might start off as friends, too. Like, you guys might be just friendly with each other or just kind of have a really, like, sweet connection that's more pure. You know, it's not focused on who's giving, who's taking sort of thing. Like, there's something here about you guys just having a lot of heart towards each other and kind of just offering that freely without any expectations and that's what's kind of cool here I feel like because then we have the destroyer for their inner energy so it's almost like this person's power is once you get on the inside it's it's really it will shake you up and it's like something here about this connection like the way that this person wants to connect with you has a lot to do with that shake up energy of like recognize your power and do good with it so this person seems to really like your power and to see you as someone that not only serves like the collective, I feel like in a lot of ways, but serves your own personal evolution. And that's something that I feel like this person really identifies with on a personal level as well. So that's maybe why you guys are drawn to each other, I feel like. So let's see what else we got going on here for your love story. We have the Queen of Chalices. So again, it's funny because that kind of does give this sisterly energy. Um, so maybe this, you know, maybe this could be someone that gives a vibe like your sister or something like that. And if you don't have a sister, actually, I'm going to pull you guys like an extra thing just in case. Um, <laughs> so we have crush. So maybe this is a crush that you've already had. <laughs> maybe like if you do have a sister, this is your sister's friend that you've had a crush on or something like that. Like, I don't know. But there's something here about feminine energy that is taking you in and making you realize that there is like some kind of inner potential here. And I feel like that's something that this relationship was really nice um, at the get go from is that you were almost like an open arms for this person to come and feel safe despite any kind of intimidating forces that are around them. I feel like this person is constantly in a tumultuous state like they they might feel really self preserving a lot of the time very stoic too. they might that's the thing is I feel like this person saves face a lot like they try to keep I mean that stoic energy is probably a better way to put it where they just try to stay more aloof and distant from things um trying to can maintain a sort of control of their impulses and of their I want to say impulse like their higher self too though it's like part of them is like aware that there is this call to action that they get that they might try to suppress a little bit whereas I feel like you come through like blazing being like nope it's time for you to activate this you know goodwill basically you're trying to bring into this world yeah we have the five of pentacles here so i feel like this person you might come into their life when they're struggling or when you're struggling and you might show them that there's you know love to put in a situation and i feel like that's the thing is this person is almost expecting that there's always going to be it's like looking for where the other shoe is going to drop like something is kind of keeping this person on edge a lot of the time and like they can't fully commit to people but they want to I feel like that's the thing it's like they really want to and it took kind of like a slow build 
of a relationship where they could feel like they could trust you and like this is worthy investing in um before i think they actually start something here yep because then we have the ten of pentacles so again family energy is coming through so maybe this is somebody that you really feel like has potential for a family like they i i feel like not only are they seeing you with that light but like vice versa like you guys both look at each other through the lens of like wow this is something that we could find stability in and happiness like in our own world that's another thing too i feel like you guys can put each other in your own little world in your own little box and you can work through things in that way um i feel like there's something about you guys that might like to be isolated from the group or might like to just be in your own world like i said like gives kind of a hermit vibe of like somebody who just likes to run away and do things on their inner world and stuff like that like maybe that's why the destroyer energy comes in here it's like preparing for new life um by discarding things on the inside and what do you have to do you know you have to go in and have those kind of like hard conversations with yourself but this isn't so much a conversation as much as is like doing the hard work on yourself seeing yourself and kind of doing something different and maybe that's what is kind of the basis for this relationship is you're making this person want to do things differently. You know, I feel like they've kept themselves on a shelf for a while um, by the point that you meet them. Like they just kind of saw themselves as being an asset to other people and not so much like an overall high value thing themselves. But like you and you know, that's the thing is maybe that's like their their position in a lot of things like they've just been kind of a friend to other people or like this like a side piece or something like that like they never felt like they had true value where they were at um and it's like you kind of i don't know establish some sort of footing for them to feel like they actually aren't being left out anymore that they actually do it's you know in this person it's almost like people handle them like they're scared you know like they're worried like we see with the strength card here it's like people are like worried that this thing is going to like attack them but it's like you come in and you you see nothing but beauty it's giving um it's giving the energy of like i don't know seeing a monster i mean quite literally she put like a freaking flower thing on a lion you know a lion's not necessarily the safest animal so it's like something here of like i feel like either you to your future partner or them to you or maybe both where you guys see someone that's kind of dangerous but you're willing to kind of serve that energy because you see the higher power in it and that's the thing is like that's the good intention here and if you're coming into like <laughs> it's funny because if you think about it like if you're coming into a negative energy with a positive intention and open mind you are the light in the situation and i feel like you have, you are a light in this person's life um in you know maybe a, a part of their life where they felt like people were afraid of them or scared to deal with them so they were more self-protective and they were feeling like you you know i don't know like you wouldn't want them like that's when you came in and were like i want you kind of thing which is really, I think, nice and healing for this person. Yeah, we have the sun. So I feel like this relationship is going to bring out so much happiness to this person in in ways that are surprising. Because I feel like they really thought that they weren't worthy of this positive feeling and of this desire and stability and stuff like that that they like, recognize. And I say desire and stability, so it's like a stable desire, I feel like. You know, that's the thing is like they, they never felt comfortable enough to invest because I feel like people were afraid of them. They would be worried about them. They would judge them, I feel like. Maybe that's a part of it too. Like there's something here about feeling like other people can kind of set you off your track that this person really tried to avoid. But we have the three of pentacles here and the knave of pentacles. So I feel like they are interested in starting with you and that's how things begin is like kind of a shock to them because they, it's like why would I be interested in starting with this person when I'm constantly focused on discarding things like I feel like this person is constantly filtering people out and like purging energy so the fact that you're someone they want to invite in they're like surprised by it. it's like why would I want why would I want this sort of thing but I feel like it's pretty evident that you are wanted because of the way that you work with this person i feel like you're not like all encompassing that's the thing it's like you don't mother this person you're not straining their energy either because i feel like you're willing to do the work just as much as they are and they really like like that about you but at the same time they might worry um <laughs> about your power compared to them you know i feel like this person is a very power oriented kind of person and does seem to focus a lot on 
you know, maintaining kind of a control here. But it's almost like you're showing them where they can allow more love into their life and where they can actually, you know, why they destroyed all these things, why they were <laughs> kind of like purifying everything in their life. Like you're coming into their life to show them why that was and, you know, what they were actually trying to serve in those moments. Because that's the thing is this person was constantly, constantly saying, you're not good enough. This isn't good enough. I can't do this. Like really cleaning the area, you know, really trying to make their space a lot clearer. Maybe they came from a really toxic family that just, you know, made them see love in a different light. You know, it's more of a controlling love than anything. And this person really needed someone that came with no attachments almost, you know, just that friendly energy. And that's why that roots your relationship is because you guys see each other mainly as friends. So that pressure that you guys feel from everything else in the world actually is um, put to good use almost in this relationship where you guys are actually able to start seeing more things positive things created that you're like happy that you built together i feel like so let's see some positives in this relationship that are going to be themes here whoops cards flying all right we have beach so <laughs> that's funny i was saying that it feels like you guys are okay with being in your own little world together and that totally gives that vibe pretty sure that was this pile um and then we have paralysis and then we have animals. So I do feel like this person is feeling a lot more comfortable in the world that you guys create together within this relationship. I feel like instead of being paralyzed and feeling like they can't move, they have this desire to move. And I feel like, you know, that's the thing is like this person, like this is the circumstances in their life. Like it was just taking them. It was all consuming to them. But then you came and it's almost like you're this energy of just you know, chilling with those impulses, those things that kind of strain this person, you're able to find some kind of peace within them and solace. And you actually show that this drive can be used in a way that's more beneficial. You know, it's, it's like op showing them the opening when they've been like so focused on a wall or something like that. Like you really, I think, provide them with this really intimate safety feeling it's funny because this does kind of give them entrancing vibe but it's it's like you're not all consuming to them though is what I want to say I feel like they still feel powerful despite the way that you're like pulling them like I want to say out of themselves but I feel like that in a more of like a spiritual way where you're like whoop and then you're like astral traveling or something like that so <laughs> that's when I say that though it's like Maybe you're showing this person how to use their internal energy in a way that is a lot more self-governed, but still empowered. And that's the thing is I feel like in this relationship, that is something that this person didn't always see as like, like as, I don't know, not in this relationship, I guess maybe in their relationships in general in life, they just didn't see the opportunity for them to be someone stable. You know, they were always the one fighting for <laughs> the chaos to end it's the thing and it's like you're showing them that like their movements are what end that chaos and it's like isolating yourself through your movements and kind of differing yourself through your movements discerning yourself through from situations through your movements that's interesting there's a lot of purity going on here a lot of purifying through like just focusing on your own world I feel like and that's what's really nice it's like you guys go you come together and you share this friendly energy that it's like okay let's build our garden together but you have to focus on all of the little things that might go wrong before you can actually like feel like things are working out the right way like that's kind of what I'm seeing here is like there might be this like narrowing in where you guys get really close to each other and have to really like look at things for what they are to decide like, okay, this is how we're going to go about it going forward now. So let's see some more negative things that might be coming up in this relationship though. We have being lost. Spiral energy is coming back. So, and then we have books writing words, which is all about a search for knowledge. So I do feel like this relationship is at times kind of strenuous um because there is you know this is a pretty fixed energy that we're seeing here so you guys might come together thinking that you know life that you know how things work you know what's worthy of investing in you know how to navigate things you know how to have self-control i feel like this takes you out of that though this relationship at times you know that's part of the blessing is that it does take you out of it and it helps you learn real control and real vitality no matter where you're at 
But at the same time, like, I think learning about that can be really confusing. It can make you feel a little reckless and, like, you're not able to fully meet a mark. But that's the thing is, like, it's supposed to help you kind of learn where you even are putting a mark because it's really up to you. And I feel like this relationship is supposed to help you recognize, like, what kind of ideals you're serving. And if it's, like, a desire you're serving within you or if it's just kind of an expectation that you have been holding on to from family or something like that. I'll pull you guys some more messages, though, about this connection with your future spouse. We have complete. And then we have confusion. Yeah, that confusion, like we were just saying, is, like, it's like they're wanting to complete a cycle. They want to finish off, you know, what they start, like with the servant here and the destroyer. It's almost like they want to completely rid themselves of anything that would be confusing. And so it's like trying to find answers and trying to find a lot of what has brought you to the space of where you're at, basically. And that's the thing is I feel like this person might come from a pretty empty space. Like they might not have a lot going for them because they've discarded so many things. So it's like... Now they're confused of what completes them because they thought that they just had to get rid of a bunch of stuff. But then it's almost one of those things where you've cleaned your vessel so much that you forget that there's something to go in it. It's like cleaning the flower vase so much that you forget there's supposed to be flowers in it, you know, and it might get dirty again. And that's okay. Um, I feel like that's kind of like a lesson that's being learned in this relationship. In the focus. We have beginning. Yeah, it's like a beginning of something new and it's also a freedom energy too with the courses here i feel like this is the beginning of them having a, some kind of inner freedom um inner in power with that freedom too we do have friction so i mean at times there might be power battles i'm not gonna lie especially with the destroyer here i feel like you guys might butt heads and really i don't know because it can be a really stubborn energy so you guys might both run into each other and be like Oh, I want this. I want that. I want this. I want that. But like not ever come to an agreement just because of the ways that you guys might be demanding without getting to the root. Nothing you can't work through though. <laughs> and then let's see. We do have false mask and we have blocked. So I do feel like there will be some difficulties, like I said, about, you know, like how you might present yourself as being like worthy of wanting to help and stuff like that or not worthy of wanting to help. But like, I feel like one or both of you might just be like, oh yeah, I'm trying to help. I'm trying to fix this. I'm trying to like end the confusion, but that might actually be a false mask or some kind of like show some kind of, um, deeper blockage you might have when it comes to like figuring things out because that servant energy is like really wanting to serve causes. But if we see here, it says using the lack of money as an excuse to not move forward with life. And it makes me think of money in the terms of like self value. So maybe this person might be, I don't know. It's almost like they would say like, well, I'm not good enough or I'm not the one or something like that as a way to try to complete this confusion, to try to like restart. Um, but they don't really recognize that that's like a false image of themselves and that they're not empowering themselves or blocking themselves from that empowerment, actually. Let's see. What else do we have here? So we do have resistance and control. So I do feel like this person, you know, they're going to find ways to perhaps control or slow down the progression of this relationship at times because it is really threatening this new beginning of like not having a certain kind of control or protection over a situation. Like I feel like this person can get really fired up at times because they have this fear of losing control. Um, you know, we're kind of seeing that on both ends of the thing. So I feel like part of them does really want to lose control though, and to have a new beginning and to feel like they have a fresh start that is happy, you know, and then we have stable here. So yeah, they literally want to be more stable, but there's a journey to get there, which is twin flame. So it's, it's almost like they need to learn how to take from your side of things and do it that way versus trying to keep doing things their own way, because I feel like that can get things <laughs> messed up and create conflict in your relationship but I mean overall there is this friendly atmosphere about it where it's like we both have our own way of doing things and we both will probably let each other do things our own way um which sets up a pretty good basis obviously with resistance and control and stuff like that like blocked false masks like that's not the best omen but it does you know that's for people we're going to have issues like that come up um and I do feel like this person is going to be really self-protective and maybe hide how much control issues they might have. Um, but, you know, it's a process. I feel like this person is just kind of having to figure it out just like anybody else. So 
And, you know, I think a lot of what they went through in their past and with their family might be part of why. So just an FYI. But let's see some messages from your person to end this out. Messages from your future spouse. <laughs> we have power struggle. Literally, what did I tell you? You're so special to me. Oop. We have, you're not good for me. I'm in love with you. My friends love you. I can't take you seriously. You intimidate me. Yep. <laughs> the mother wound and cut the small talk. So I feel like this person, <laughs> when they, <laughs> I want to say when they are in a relationship with you, because they hold you as like a special person in their life. I mean, they hold on really tightly to you, but that kind of creates a power struggle because they're not willing to let you go. And if anything, they want to get right into the grunt of things, which might just be kind of an explan or not an explanation. They might just be like, I don't know, like an expectation maybe they put on you because they don't know how to handle the intimidation that you put them under. You know, it's like you find they finally met their match and they're kind of worried about that um, because of the ways that you're actually able to emotionally tap into them. You know, I feel like this person, like I said, they've had family wounds before, especially with a mother wound here. Maybe a lot of feelings about being left out or being not picked or just not being able to be pr protected. It's funny because the cut the small talk here makes me feel like this person just wants to wants to like opt out. Like with the you're not good for me, you intimidate me, like I can't take you seriously. It makes them it almost is like it's like they think you're giving them good intentions without good intentions. So they're like, oh, shut up. Like, you know, you're just saying that, you know, but it, I think they're only saying that because they're afraid of their feelings for you. Um, I mean, I'm in love with you. You're so special to me. I can't ever uh I mean, I can't take you seriously. That has the same kind of thing of like, I can't take my feelings for you seriously. So I'm just expecting you to cut cut the bullshit basically and tell me, you know, why you're not good for me or like whatever. Like something about this, they're like waiting for you to just be like, to drop the act essentially a lot of the time. Um, And that might be their like <laughs> coping mechanism, I want to say. With my friends love you though, I do feel like they have people in their ear that are like, this is a good girl. Like this is a good guy. Like this is somebody that you should actually you know hold on to and I feel like that is a big part of why they do hold on to you is because they do have a lot of like friendly feelings about you um and their friends kind of echo that maybe like there's a lot of people that might just understand your pure intentions when this person doesn't and give them you know that kind of perspective which is really nice we have jealous as fuck come up and we also had that card uh pop up when i was looking at the messages earlier so this person might have some issues with jealousy that they suppress and try to um you know control on their own and just try to seem like they aren't as afraid to lose you as they might actually be because yeah i'm getting a lot of like bad reputation i saw ghosting i can't understand your point of view like i think this person might put walls up because they just really fear being like left away and stuff like that but that's where that friendly energy is so important for the basis of your relationship because i think you guys can really help clarify your intentions to each other and just remind each other like hey this is coming from a good place you know i'm coming to help you um and i, I don't know that's like the good basis for this relationship i want to say so group three i hope this message resonated for you guys and if it did make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel for more intuitively channel messages like this if you want to book a personal reading with me check out the link below as always to my snip feed or my instagram or you can email me whatever works best for you otherwise i'm gonna skedaddle and i hope to see you guys in a later reading peace